Have you ever masturbated to training for it? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking knew you were cheating on your motherfucking diet. To submission, boys. I'm at Cameraman Nico's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gym. They think I'm just some douchebag YouTuber here to get a comedy bit, which I am, but I also used to be a decent BJJ competitor. The idea is I'm gonna go in there, throw on a white belt, flop around like an epileptic salmon, and start catching dudes miraculously in submissions. Fuck with everybody's head. What's your name? Alex. Alex, what's up, man? What belt are you? Oh, oh, purple. No, purple belt? That's pretty cool. I'm Danny. I'm trying out jiu-jitsu for the first time today. Awesome. I'm a YouTuber. Very cool. 3 your case subs. No. How long have you been fighting? Um, not very long. Four years. Four years? Yeah. MMA, jiu-jitsu exclusively? Jiu-jitsu. Yeah. That's not really fighting now, is it? No. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Just so we understand that. What's up, dude? My name's Chase. Chase. Danny. I'm a YouTuber, 300,000 subs. Can you help me? I might need a little help putting on the belt. I wrestled in high school, a lot of street fights, but I don't know much about the jiu-jitsu uniform. Okay, put your gear in here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that, yeah, yeah. Just like that. The belt doesn't go around your head. Go around the front, mm -hmm. around the back. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna make an X. You make a little fortune cookie, and you call it. You understand there's no way I'm gonna remember any of that, right? That's okay. This is just a case. <laughs> um, no, no, no. no. Right, so now you know. No, we're gonna keep that there for later. No ninja weapons no policy. No ninja weapons. I might come back for that. Okay. Shake my hand first. Shake your hand. Danny. Oh. Shake your hand of everyone. Everybody. Yeah. YouTube man. Nice to meet you. Three hundred thousand subscribers. Met this guy at the door. Yes, I got my eye on you tonight, man. <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> Talk about Instagram tagging, Twitter retweets, all that after this. <laughs> right now, I wanted to see if you guys make it out of the class with me. Some big question marks as far as that. How's it going, dude? Hey, I like you? the form there, the hug. Thank you. Dr. Scholar Day. The lotion on this one. Feeling good? I'm gonna hit this one and run. Go. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're gonna break your neck. That's cool. Danny, don't do that again. I'm sorry, man. I, no, no, it's not sorry for me. I just don't want you to get hurt. You almost broke your neck. The kids want action. They oh, want, okay, okay. They want oh, airborne roll. Would you go front roll, back roll? I got that. Better? Yes, yeah. way better. I like that. Right? Oh! Okay, no! <laughs> I don't know anything about this one here. It's called the hip escape. Hip escape? Yeah. You create space when someone's trying to smash you or if someone's trying to get like position on you. You know, just turn to your side slightly and push your butt out. I don't like the language you use, smash or turn to get position. Not gonna happen to me. So this is a superfluous exercise, but the humor you'll try it out. And then you're just gonna push yourself back and away. Yep, good. That's pretty good. Yeah, keep going. Now go to the other side. Your goal is to open my guard, right? So you're gonna stand up. And you're gonna try to bring your, now, see how many knees came here? Yeah. As you bring your hands forward. Oh, yeah. yeah, if I were here, why wouldn't I just unleash a meteor shower of punches on well, it? Just punch, punch, punch. Now I come here. Now I'm gonna start getting grips here and start choking, right? What if I get one headbutt or bite in, though, before I go black? Um, see this tooth right here? It's yeah. a little jagged. Watch that my... was from a street confrontation, too. Okay, you might have more credit than <laughs> Show the camera that? You might have more credit the missing tooth department than me. <laughs> I got this little shit from our last shoot. We used to do a lot of backyard stuff. When I came up in high school, Stephen Besso's house, we'd throw back a couple cores of lights, just go out in the back. One thing that I practiced a lot there that I think is really effective was going here. Okay, so that's good too. I now I'm gonna armbar you. You're exposing your hands. I like to think I win this battle six times out of ten. <laughs> or now you can take both legs over and you can double armbar. <laughs> Sorry, they cracked a little bit. I'm calling for it. <laughs> okay. Same position as before. If you start wailing punches yeah. on me, well, like my hands are here. For me, this it's is elbows. actually how I lost my tooth. Punches? Elbows. You got this position. See, I don't like that I'm learning MMA from a guy who lost his teeth to elbows from mouth. <laughs> so even like there's got to be somebody more competent here. Even a white belt, they didn't lose his entire row of bottom teeth. My goal is to 
to sweep you on this position. I doubt you can. Oh, now you open your guard, so now I turn and I have side control. Look at the draw. <laughs> My goal for rolling today is to stay on top. Because at least if I get tapped, I get beaten on top, I still have my dignity as a man. But if I'm tapped out on the bottom, it's akin to not only getting ass raped in prison, but getting a swirly afterwards too. It's a double insult if you're choked out on but, bottom. But you feel safe, right? Yeah. Well, now I go here and I get a good grip here. Yeah. Now I turn my angle Yeah. and I choke you. But Todd, I still have my dignity here. You're gonna go to sleep. Whereas you look like my lover. <laughs> my lover with a lowercase L. I'm the uppercase, which is important. That's very important. Sure, that looks good. Again. Stephen Besso's watching. Stephen Besso's always there. Get the joke! Stop holding onto my neck! It's not an army crawl, go to your knees! No, go to your knees. Yeah, okay, but you're freaking out. Don't freak out. There you go, go to your knees. You know what? Can we restart neutral? I don't like being on bottom. It's gonna be a lot of work for my editor if there's a ton of footage on me on bottom because we're gonna obviously cut that out of the video, so. Okay. I just, if I can stay on top most of the time, okay. I prefer it. A lot of kids talk trash on YouTube. Yeah. They're in the comments, oh, Danny's on bottom, Danny's getting I don't want that, I don't need that. Okay. Stay on top. Stay at sea level or above. Yeah, there you go. Don't want to dip down to Death Valley. <laughs> Just, just for the shot, if I could get one clip of me on your back with the rear naked choke sunk in. Let's make it one fluid cut so it doesn't look doctored. Just like being back in Steven Besso's backyard. That looked too easy. What'd you do? Well, we, we can do another take. That was good, dude. Okay, one more time, change partner. Good. Go with it. Siren saved you there. It's heavy. Heavy? Two weeks, train three weeks. That's good. I can handle that. I don't want a guy too good. Again, it's just gotta look good on camera. Right? We're both white belts. There's nothing to gain from us. How many girls do you had sex with? <laughs> I didn't answer that on camera. Have you ever masturbated into training porn? No training porn. You realize if it's a training, you have sex with a chick? It's not gay. You can look at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. You should too. No, I agree with you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Knock something in the manual. We're finally found common ground. <laughs> Yeah, we'll use it. Yes. Nice. Tough. And then I leave the stuff. Have to eat, but come every day. Yeah, he's tough. He sub me once, twice. I think I'm ready for a blue belt, though. We should have had a couple Jack and Cokes for a game. You lose them. I just blood sport last night. Some scrum stuff in there. Some deleted scenes he's going to look for. said just won his last pro fight in how many seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Purple belt? Almost a brown? Should be a brown? Should be a brown. You gotta be careful. You know, don't... I, mean, I don't need to be that careful. I'm, I'm a durable guy. Okay, I'm not letting you use that weapon. You're not allowed to use your belt. No biting. No, essentially no kicking. You can keep away from your feet. You kill him. I know I am. <laughs> 
It's really good. You don't hurt the guests. I think I kind of deserve to be hurt for all of it. That's what happens when you come in here being an asshole. This guy, this guy takes you out. Hey, Patrick. Yes, sir. Why so much pressure? Why so many well, arm locks? How that's how I roll. That's how I roll. Danny, thanks for coming and just being a good sport. Obviously, everybody, he's a very high level purple belt. I know if you saw me out there. I was having pretty good success with the rape show. Yes. I was blacked out half the time. I was brawling at Stephen Besso's. But I'd say I put in at least two, 3,000 hours on the ground back there. It comes back in times of duress. If a, if a white belt can be this good in one class, then I guess jujitsu is for everybody. Shout out to Evolve Check Mat Mission VA. Ho for hosting me. If you're in the worst county area, don't be a pussy. Get off the couch. When push comes to shove and a guy's hitting on your girlfriend, you need jujitsu or kickboxing. They have that too. See those bags, Nico? Film the bags. Don't ever lecture me on guard fundamentals again. Know where we're going today? To see Fan Jerry. Mm -hmm. And I love the guy. He's our crew's John Belushi. Me think he's a big fatso at risk of dying alone in a hotel room. Fan Jerry's weight is officially a crisis. I've tried everything with this guy. All right. Personal trainers, women, high elevation boxing, nothing shaved off any pounds. I have two last weapons to unleash. Shame and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He of course knows nothing about this, so let's keep it quiet. Mr. Fan Jerry, put her there. You got a little uh, housewarming gift. Oh, sweet. A New Year's gift to bestow, Fan Jerry. This is the first time I've seen you in the new year, after it all. Is. It is. Any resolutions? Any change being made in your life? I bought a book. Did you get a turtle too? What's that? Bearded dragon. Did we talk about that last time? I had a snake. It had a, some uh, genetic digestive issue. It died like two weeks later. Wait, 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 wait. So, Fan Jerry, you bought a snake. You couldn't care for it well enough to keep it alive? No, it couldn't shit, so it died of overconstipation. That was probably your fault. It was yeah, something in the diet you were fault. buying it. This one? Were you buying it at the mealworms and the crickets? No, snakes eat mice. You weren't feeding it Justino's pizza? No. What the fuck? Don't do this, Danny. Why are we doing this? I don't even have a Justino's pizza tonight. Aha! But you have a bunch of M&M ice cream sandwiches that you ate. Yes. So how long before the bearded dragon dies? I don't know. I've had him for a you have a very childlike energy about you this morning. I'm in a good mood. Why? I don't know. I've been doing some... Your snake died, your room's a mess. Why are you in a good mood like right now? A month and a half ago. You should still be grieving. Should I? Yeah. The snake I had for two weeks. Yes. What else do you have to tell me about this place? You have a wall of Danny Mullen. A wall of Danny Mullen? <laughs> Where? This right here, Danny. Do you not recognize these? You don't bring any women over here, do you? No. Fan Jerry, I just about tear up when I see you back in your prime. Yeah. Jaw of iron, stomach of lead. Look at this. Fan Jerry, do you ever see this picture of yourself and get a little nostalgic? Yes. What's yeah. keeping you from achieving this look again? Pure laziness. Okay. So, booze. It's the new year. Not only is it the new year, it's the new decade. We had two zeros back in the date. What do you think about turning over a new leaf? What are we doing today? I don't know yet. So Fan Jerry, what I want to emphasize right now is that I'm your friend on this shoot. Some elements to your weight loss last time were a little jarring. I don't want that to be today. Let's go get a nice slice of pizza or something and walk down the beach, okay? We're gonna reminisce, maybe feed some seagulls out here. Uh, surfers, women, we're gonna have a nice relaxing day, huh? Now Fan Jerry, let's actually get a little serious. As I'm eating the quesadilla? Let's address the elephant in the room. Nico is an alcoholic. <laughs> Not that elephant. <laughs> Maybe yeah, let's put it this way. Let's address the hippopotamus in the crew. Oh. Is that better? Yeah. Seriously, Fan Jerry. Yeah, seriously, bitch. What are you going to do about getting your weight under control this year? May I make a little suggestion? No. If you're going to disrespectfully munch on a quesadilla in my face? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Why? I think it's gonna motivate you because it's impossible to slack off when somebody's on top of you trying oh, to choke you unconscious. Fanjero's actually doing well. That's how I know his weight's really getting out of control. It was so hard to take him down. At least gonna take the going out. 
No, you're not gonna go out, Fan Jerry. I need you to say it, but I just need to prove a point. See, Fan Jerry? That's the highest your heart rate has been in months. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is gonna be your path to a lean physique. But first, we must shame you into taking it seriously. Shame is the first building block. Any guesses as to his weight? How much do you think Fan Jerry weighs? Um, 215. Fan Jerry, shoes off. I'll let you leave your nipple piercings in. We'll minus a couple ounces for those. Are you at all turned on by the fact that he has his lavalier clipped to his nipple piercing? You know, I was just about to comment on that. 241. What? Do you mind filling out a little questionnaire about his body type really quickly? Oh my God. We're trying to help this repulsive ball of dough lose some weight. Would you girls be interested in uh, taking a look at this man's body and then filling out this questionnaire? I think it's really gonna motivate him on his 2020 fitness journey. Wow. So you really think this is mean what we're doing right now? I think it's terrible. Yeah. Really? But if you were a couple of martinis deep in a nightclub, this would be the last guy in the building you go for. It doesn't matter. But he's probably the nicest. But what? If, that's but not true. He's an like, asshole. Like, uh, was it a little too mean? I forget what it was. Uh, to which it? <laughs> <laughs> to which animal would you most liken Fan Jerry's physique? A uh, cheetah? Oh. A butterfly? Or a comatose elephant seal? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me you don't think he looks like a cheetah or a butterfly? <laughs> What do you think his cum tastes like? Lemonade, cinnamon, or the stomach acid of a yak? <laughs> you think his cum tastes like cinnamon, honestly? Absolutely. Gotta go with the stomach acid of a yak. There, that's, so, just, that's just... She's finally starting to loosen up, Fan Jerry. I'm stuck on question four. Which one has you stumped? The hypothetical, he gets you pregnant one? So here, what would you do if he got you pregnant, though? Cry. Well, cry. You're gonna cry, I but then cry. you gotta make a decision. Would you abort it if he gets you pregnant, or would you walk out on the freeway and give an 18-wheeler a big hug? Which would you do, miss? Oh, my God. Those that's, are the only two options. That's, that's suicide. That's that, it? Yeah, you gotta that's... abort it or commit suicide. <laughs> The 18 so you'd kill yourself. The, the, the freeway journey sounds nice, I yeah, guess. I mean, <laughs> see, this guy's spawn is living in your stomach. It's 18 wheeler time. Yeah, they really don't want to keep your baby no, here. None of them do. I don't know if this is coincidental. He does have a child, and the baby mama is a heroin addict. That so is a fact. She, might she be, wasn't when I met her. That was her 18 wheeler, it was the needle in the brown stuff. Do you think he's ever been molested? Yes or maybe? <laughs> what the fuck, Denny? Gonna go with the maybe. She took the liberty to pencil in probably. Maybe answer didn't have enough certainty in it for. Do you think he's ever done gay stuff? Yes. <laughs> That's the only one. There's only one answer for that. What's wrong with doing gay stuff? Yeah. Oh, nothing. There's no shame associated with it. It's just a yes no question. Actually, it's just a yes yes question. <laughs> Fanjur, have you ever yeah. done anything gay? I made out with a dude for $100 I on a YouTube video. How am I asking that? Who wouldn't make out with a dude for $100? And Lenny? I would make out with a dude for $100. Oh, would you make out with Fanjur for $100? I don't want to make out with anybody. I mean, do you have a hundred dollars? No. No. So, See, okay. starting there. Answer the question. <laughs> you know what? I'd Venmo you a hundred bucks. You made out with Fan Jerry right now. A hundred, a hundred percent. I would do that. No. Nope. I have nope. my phone. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. You sure? Build up my social media right now. No. Nope. Okay. Just well, feel this like would, I would probably help. Come back to come back to haunt me. A you little. seem like a really nice girl, and you're very pretty. I guarantee Fan Jerry has more Instagram followers than you. <laughs> really? It, See, but you also said that he's got dip in. So go wash out your mouth with some Listerine or a cola. I need a store that'll let me yeah, go in there shirtless. I'm not making out with this boy. <laughs> gotta, I gotta maintain my integrity. Tongue. Tongue. Oh yeah. Come on, get in there with a little bit of tongue. Yes. Okay. That's that's a good kiss. She's getting paid. I gotta get paid for that one. There you go. Um, not bad. Fuck yeah. You have not made out with a girl hotter than her in the last half decade. And I can sing. And it doesn't matter. Can't. He doesn't like talented women. No. The one he's dating right now is a crack he's addicted not fat girl. Any... We're gonna look through some of these evaluations. A lot of girls are giving your body a six. Yeah. I would say I'm a solid six. No. A six is above average. We're on the bell curve scale. Yeah, okay. Seven and a half. She thinks your cum tastes like fur baby sweat. What the fuck is a fur baby? She thinks you look like a sloth. I can see that. You gotta have more pride than to accept that you look like a sloth. Fan Jerry, this is just depressing me to go through these. Here's what I think we do. I think we teach you Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Let me tell you about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu developed in 15th century Japan, where the samurai, hired muscle for wealthy landowners, would use the art to brutally suppress peasant uprisings. 400 years later, uh, the Japanese were moving toward more sophisticated forms of combat. They hadn't yet learned to strap themselves to palm trees or fly planes into carriers, 
But those things were on the way. Traditional martial arts were on the way out. Such it was that Jigoro Kano, tired of getting his ass kicked by school bullies, could hardly find a jujitsu school. But in time he did. And while mastering jujitsu, he began to form some opinions. Fuck all these swords and knives, he said. I just like the throwing shit. He called his new style judo. And the Japanese Empire adored it. As did drunkard president Ulysses S. Grant. He caught wind of all this judo bowl and was like, Hey, send a few of those Chinamen my way. Kano, at the president's service, dispatched Mitsuyo Maeda from Japan to New York. Maeda held a seminar at the American Military Academy. It went pretty good until two cadets, not buying this Ching Chong wrestling stuff, challenged Maeda and his flunky Tamita. Maeda tossed his cadet on his fucking head head. Tamita didn't, bringing shame to judo and the entire land of the rising sun. Anyway, at some point Maeda went to Brazil to do some stuff, where he met and taught judo to a young man named Elio. Elio, like Kano before him, had opinions. He said, fuck all these throws. I like the ground shit. He called his style jujitsu again. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is gonna get you out of this hole you're in. The great thing about jiu-jitsu too, is you can still be a gigantic asshole after you learn it. Oh good, that's all I need. <laughs> that's what you need. need to... The Gracies, they would challenge somebody to a fight if that somebody sneezed wrong. We're gonna channel the patriarch of the Gracie family. You're gonna be wearing a gi all day in honor of him, and you're gonna carry around a picture of the great sensei Elio. To cap things off, after you learn some technique, you're gonna have your very own Gracie challenge. You're gonna fight somebody at the beach. Okay, let's do it. Let's, no get, let's not get any assault charges, though. Take it seriously, Jerry. I am taking it seriously. Let's I'm go. Ready to fucking do it. This is your sensei for the day. Nice to meet you. Professor Nick. Professor Nick. We should teach him some break falls and we should do something that gives yeah. you an excuse to toss him a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That sounds good. That your gi is so ugly, we're gonna give you a nice <laughs> pretty one. <laughs> we're gonna give you a nice Gustavo, <laughs> you don't like this guy on your mat dressed like this, is that what you're saying? He's yeah. not properly cold, you know? That's <laughs> right. He dressed me. So. No, no, don't Play lie to them. You dressed yourself. You insult this entire facility coming in dressed like that. So the first thing we need to teach how to do is, is how to fall. We're gonna let it fall and slide. Slap the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on a throw. So most people are right-handed, so they're going to be coming over the top like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as someone does that, we're going to be coming in and we're going to be catching right here to come underneath. You're taking this in high spirits. I'm kind of surprised. You ready to throw somebody? Yeah. So I'm just coming in big overhand, right? Very slow, yeah. Okay. And don't actually punch me. No, no, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Get off. All right, there we go. Well, you're good at, you're unconscious now, but that's okay. <laughs> now this, pull this hand through. See how that loads him up on your hips? Amazing. Now, Professor Nick, what happens when we take the opponent to the ground? Okay, so when we take the opponent to the ground, right? Oh, okay. He lands, we're gonna come into a mount position. Dude, we're gonna do a cross collar mount choke. I can use my left hand to open the lapel as I drive this through, and I'm aiming for the tag. Yep. We're just gonna be coming under, we're gonna be doing the same exact thing. Not over the top, head on the mat. Mm -hmm. That tips. Two seconds. Nick, you mind if I try it out real quick? Yeah, go ahead. You're a perfect belt. You know what the fuck's going on. It's been a while. Since... Oh. It's hard to get a comfy mount on him. His belly's so big. <laughs> right here, elbows to the ceiling. Go. Professor Nick, he's got a pretty good cross collar show. That's pretty good. I had to learn that one in the Marine Corps too. We can't count on everything to go right. right. One of these guys, they might be bigger, stronger. There's almost a hundred percent chance they're going to be more athletic than you. Thanks, buddy. We need to think about if Fan Jerry gets into a bad spot. Let's do it. Take your right leg and hook it over mine, so that way my leg can no longer post. Okay. Like this. Yes. Perfect. And don't get choked here. 
<laughs> you promised me you're going to use this for good, right? You're not going to take this back and use it on any of the little old ladies no. you bring to the hitching post? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't do that. No, I say we make them run through all of it once more. Let's go. Let's get him out. Come here. Stop getting away from me. I'm gonna give him the old South American sauna here. You make a little tent for his head and you blow hot air into it. You got him straight? I know he's not gonna be the elite BJJ competitor, but how do you like his chances winning against some random, maybe drunk meathead on the beach today? Slim. Yeah. His mount shelf's good though. Someone with a limp Hopefully. would be good. You get a cripple? Or in a wheelchair? Yeah. Well, you're one of those homeless guys who can barely walk. So a blind man walks into a bar because he couldn't see it. Think this is a time for comedy right now, Fan Jerry? Yeah, it's what you do for a living, dickwad. <laughs> Looking at you in the rearview mirror is comedy right now. Your hair. <laughs> You've never looked like more of a pedophile. <laughs> Can you confirm that, Nico? I'm wearing a bathrobe with fucked up hair. You look like a tugboat driver who's gonna lure a kid into his rental studio apartment with a big lollipop. That's me. How are you gonna approach this fight? Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid it. No. What? Of course not. Can I keep these pants? If you win, you can keep those pants. There's some incentive for you. You wanna fight now? A little bit. What if I give you the jacket also? Uh, the jacket doesn't fit. <laughs> You know what the Gracie's policy was toward defeat? They didn't tap. What the fuck that is? You're carrying around a picture of their clan patriarch. You know what happened? Fa up upright, Fanjerry. You're disgracing the entire family. You know what happened when he took on the legendary judoka Kimura? So let me guess, he won. No, he got Kimura'd. And Elio Gracie refused to tap to it. A guy applies a choke. Are you gonna tap or not tap? I'm gonna fucking tap. You're gonna not tap. You're gonna be like a Gracie. I don't know if you guys go by the traditional Gracie, our gym challenges, your gym kind of thing. We brought a representative from my YouTube channel. That is Mr. Fan Jerry holding the portrait of Elio there. I was wondering if either of you gentlemen would like to challenge him to a spar. <laughs> no, thank you. Our sensei's not even here today. Yeah. So I wouldn't have uh, the authority to make that happen in this, in this dojo. So, I mean, we spent at least $20 in gas getting out here. Sorry. This, this, that. this is San Diego. You can play your gyms right yeah. now. Right down the street is Barham. Okay. And they will definitely take you on. Okay. You ready for that, Fan Jerry? Yeah, let's go. You sure you don't want to fight one of these guys? No, let's go. Say something about his mother. Just get him all steamed. He might change his tune. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. You guys lucked out. He is really nasty. Oh, what the? Anyways, down the street. His deep half guard. <laughs> Maybe if you lose the glasses, people might take you seriously, yeah? My eyes are sensitive to the light, sir. I don't appreciate that. That was too far. The mom choke, that was funny by me. The eye thing, a little too far. Work on that. There are children here, man. Those guys were presumably instructors. They wanted nothing to do with you. They're scared of me. Hey, they're scared of you. I'd we, be scared of me if too. We can't get, if we can't get anybody legitimate to take him on, we'll go to the beach. We'll take on a knucklehead. Is that what you want, Fan Jerry? Yes, let's go. Anybody of age and male over here that wants to challenge Fan Jerry to a martial arts match? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. What about this guy? You, he didn't answer yet. Uh, I'm just taking it out. Hey, dude with the cat, you want to take on Fan Jerry? Just got out of Salo Ribeiro's gym. <laughs> Where are you guys from nationally? Which country? I didn't know if you were Japanese. Which is what we are. We've been checking sushi restaurants. We've been checking massage parlors. We need somebody who knows martial arts. <sighs> take that. Fan Jerry's ready for battle. Show him Elio. You're interested, man? A little grappling match, one on one. Who's got a nasty double leg and an even nastier spider guard? Am I looking at the guy right there, sir? You look wiry. Who's got wrestling experience? Sambo, kickboxing. I'll even take high school basketball. You want to grapple this fucking asshole? I got it, bro. Yes! Got it. Here we go. Bow to Elio. Bow to Elio. One second. You guys can shake hands in a second. You're not wearing a gi. It's disrespectful for you to bow to Elio. I'm going to give him the gi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, what's up, man? Yeah, so I thought I was crazy. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna be the purple, bro. Don't get too excited. That mount choke is gonna be, that's gonna be money right now. Hey, yep. I love you, buddy. Despite all those pedophile jokes, I take it back. You look like a guy who has sex with women. Grown women. Grown women. Occasionally a high schooler, but that's only 18. for your birthday and summer vacation. Go kick some ass, buddy. Thanks, Let's buddy. do it. Let's do it. Let's go, Jerry.
Come on, for Sensei Nick. Get him, get him. Hit throw, Jerry, hit throw. There's your position. That's not the way. Yeah, reversal. Can you guys move that? Can somebody move that? Hey, Jerry, don't give in. The temptation to quit's gonna come and it's gonna go. He's got side control. He's racking up a ton of points on you here. Yeah! <laughs> Yes. Ben Jerry, escape. Get your guard back. Knees in, Ben Jerry. Take me back, take me back. Take me back, Jerry. Move quick. Ben Jerry, your stamina is as infinite as this ocean. Remember that. Okay, he's got a Peruvian necktie. He's got a modified Peruvian necktie. Yes, sir. Jerry, don't give that choke up. Don't give in for Nick. For Sensei Nick. For Elio. He tapped. OGG, baby. There we go. No, no, the goal wasn't to lose, Fanjari. I think you're mistaken there. Do you want to take him on, man? Oh, I'll be down. Okay, let's do it. I'm sure you've heard this joke before, but you look like pedophile Justin Bieber. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guess that. I'm aware. Yeah. I called him. Must have. Yeah. <laughs> what was your name, pedophile Justin Bieber? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to call you PJB. You're warmed up now. That's what that was, that defeat. Remember, Jerry, hip throw, mount choke. We can go get burgers. You can live out your life. Nice hand fighting, Jerry. He pulled guard. Jerry, he pulled guard. We'll see if you can get your mount choke. Jerry, go to the ground. Jerry, I don't trust his arm bar. Go to that mount choke from inside his guard. Have faith in it. He's gonna take your back, Jerry. This kid is training <laughs> This kid looks like he somewhat knows what he's doing for sure. He's about to get four points on you if he gets that bottom hook in. There it is. Do you have any apologizing to do for losing the two men who probably weigh 100 pounds less than you? No. Yeah, that was good, dude. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I want this guy to win, but I admire technique when I dude, see he's it. He's got it. He's got the effort. Maybe you guys can exchange notes now on molesting children. <laughs> good. We're going to go find somebody else for him to eventually beat. We're, I don't know. We're going to have to go down to middle school kids, I think. <laughs> because he, he, how much do you weigh, dude? 140? Yeah, he weighs 240. Really? So it's going to be hard to find a bigger weight discrepancy. <laughs> Anybody got any grappling experience at all? What about you, sir, behind the grill? You look beefy. No. You look slow is actually why I pointed you out. He just lost bad the two little fast guys. He's somebody with a little bit of padding on the stomach. Kenichi Wa, hello. Does that mean no karate here? Uh, no. Well, you don't train personally? No. What about one of the authentic Japanese guys who's working the fryer, cooking up the fish in the back? No, nah, man. It's kind of dead in here, huh? Yeah. You guys got to rethink your advertising policy. Thank you. You got any grappling experience, dude? <laughs> no, I don't. This is Fan Jerry. They call him Fan Jerry the Jailer. He locks up all the black belts in his arm locks and chokes. He actually blows ass. We're trying to find him an easy victory. We might Thanks, need you to come man. resuscitate him. You know, uh... We might need to be there, yeah. Hey, stop looking for treasure. Start looking for glory. Take this guy on in a jiu-jitsu match. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's like it... Hide! <laughs> Fan Jerry just gave you some serious snark. These guys are not their shirts. Those guys are gonna destroy Jerry. You wanna grapple a bit? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh cool. Fuck me. You've already shamed Elio, Professor Nick, everybody. Take off the gi so you, everybody can see your physique against his. Last one of the day. Wait, are we actually wrestling? Hell yeah. To submission, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the black women love it. <laughs> Pass to side control. <laughs> it's two submission, though. It's two submission. Oh, I'm thinking about arm bar, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no, Fan Jerry never surrender. You learn to mount escape. For Nick, do the mount escape. All right, all right, all right. I'm good. Can you at least polish him off? <laughs> we need the finality if I'm getting choked. I feel like him sitting on your stomach and just getting off you like you're his bitch was more humiliating than any kind of choke. Yeah, it was. Are we done? No. Please? Yeah. Thank you. We just gotta get you some food, right? Yep. Ben Jerry, you didn't take the jujitsu very well? Nope. So what are you gonna do now? You're just gonna hang out, have a fucking burger, stuff your face, put a cola in your mouth? Yep. So everything I taught you today about losing weight, staying lean, none of that's applying. It's resonating. You need a couple months to mull it over, though? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna need some time to think about it. Can we sit over here, actually? I have a better lighting in here, right? Take a bite, Ben Jerry. Yeah, look directly into this camera. I heard that one of my motherfucking clients is cheating on his fucking diet and telling everyone he's not getting results. We're gonna fucking fix this shit. Success. Mm. 
I fucking knew it. I fucking knew you were cheating on your motherfucking diet. You're going around telling everyone that you're not fucking getting any results. You're gonna have it's not work. over yet, then, Jerry. Do some burpees. You're gonna do me ten motherfucking burpees, and I'm gonna eat ten burpees, burpees right now. It's Mo, your old personal trainer. He heard Sorry. that you're still drinking soda, eating burgers after I gave you all this training today. Yep. You're a mess, and he's fed up with it. I have my prop. That's not diet coke. It is. That's not, not diet coke. Burpees, let's go. You've been going around giving me bad fucking Yelp reviews, telling all these motherfuckers. You have. I saw those. Up. It was just Mo sucks with an X one star. It was Watch bullshit. The English boys. Oh. Sorry. All right. Yeah, See, now you, I'm sorry, sir. This guy is just an irredeemable yeah, fat ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he's he's put on a lot of weight recently. We this is the only way to get through to the guy. Um, sorry about that. If they were boys, would it be different? Look at this guy. He's pudgy. He's marinating in his own filth. I mean, you got to admit it. You wouldn't want this guy to date your sister, sir. Whatever you guys are doing, just chill. Okay. Yeah, I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. Is that all you have left? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a sushi roll now. You see this? We better depart. We better depart. Let's get out of here. No, that was total coincidence. <laughs> it was just passing through. Yeah.